one thing if you're worried about the weather. It's another thing if you're worried about where your next meal is going to come from. And civilizations rise and fall based on that simple concept. It's a film about the loss of biodiversity in agriculture, sort of told through a guy named Kerry Fowler. Kerry is the guy who started the seed vault under the Arctic Circle. Here we had this group of gene banks. They were probably the best in the world, but they were located in places like Colombia and Syria and Nigeria. And I, I remember writing up a little one-page description of what this idea might look like. Well, we could store a duplicate of all your samples up there in the North Pole. Since agriculture began 10,000 years ago, we developed all of these varieties of different fruits and vegetables. And in the last 80 years, we've lost everything except somewhere between 3 and 7% of those seeds. And now we're about to be confronted with climate change. So the loss of that diversity, coupled with climate change, coupled with all the other threats that agriculture is facing, put us in a much more precarious position for growing food than I ever realized. And that's why I decided to make the film. We're really happy to receive this wonderful award that will help us in completing this film and appreciate the fact that there are people who are as concerned about the sustainability of this planet as we are. I hope that people will be inspired by the film to be more active about what they eat, who grows it, wanting more diversity in their diet, understanding really what that means and what the consequences of not having that are. If we want to continue to be part of this planet, we really do have to get in front of a lot of things that are confronting us now. It's not necessarily reinventing the wheel that has to happen, but we do have to rethink the way we live. And I think it's really great that someone has come up with a way to help highlight that.